All right. Anybody with a later model, uh, mid 2000s, to uh, especially this size, a 2008 Kenworth W900. It's probably applied to a couple different ones, the 660s and such. But if you want to change the factory speakers in it, uh, in the sides and and up in the ceilings here, I'm gonna give you a rough quick tutorial on how I done it uh, first thing I done was and I've already took this out I'm gonna hit myself uh, take the side panels out and the first thing I done uh, just it looked easier to me was I went ahead and pulled the drop down tray for the CB box uh, there's a uh, four screws right there and uh, disconnect the uh, power wire in the back of it and your coax cable and then it just kind of slides out of the way and then leaving your left and your right upper surround panels left. Now to take those down, uh, the best thing to do is right here on your visor, there's a little snap uh, trim piece, pop it off. And then there's the three screws right there, machine head screws, I believe they are. Um, just take those out and then you'll have, uh, you don't forget your piece of uh, silk, your, trim pop it off it goes all the way across top and i'll show you this when i go back to putting it all back together but there's two screws right there when you take that little piece of about an inch and a quarter by probably 48 inches wide take it down then the only thing left to do is come over to the side and where your map light is just go ahead and just reach in there and get behind it with uh, preferably uh one of the little trim tools uh plastic or you can use your fingers and get behind there and pop the light out the whole thing and then you'll be able to disconnect the light uh it just pulls out real easily and then behind the light the reason you got to take it out is because of that one screw now when you get it out it's over top of this trim piece right here you just kind of just wiggle it out a little bit you have to drop the front of it down first and then it slides right out of the way uh, it's pretty simple actually not not too bad at all but uh, my next objective here is I'm taking the curtain down. Uh, I'm going to put on the individual pieces around the windshield and windows that, you know, Velcro on. Uh, it's cleaner, gives you access all to the cab. Uh, a little bit more efficient with your heat and air, I think. Um, but uh, I also have a blackout curtain on a, a custom rod I made that goes in here if I want to just customize it out and block out there. But I'm gonna take down this panel right here and change out that speaker. That is a four by six factory. Uh, and I'm replacing it with all the speakers in here with uh, these uh, Rockford Fosgates, uh, four by six. Uh, I've already hooked up one of them on the other side, just playing around with it. And it seems like they're, they're, they're good. They sound pretty well, I believe. Uh, right there is the uh, the number on it, four by six, uh, two way. I think they're forty five watts a piece or something like that. Uh, uh, Thirty five watt RMS, seventy watts peak. But on the other side, let me show you what I've already done over here. I'm running some new coax cable for both sides, and I'm go ahead and put my CB and stuff in. I replaced the CB. A speaker and why is that it I went ahead and put some polyfill and trying in these holes to fill in the gaps maybe hopefully give a little extra insulation and may I don't know if it's gonna deaden the sound or not that's my objective but you know uh, little things like that and I had some uh, high density foam material right here's like a piece of it and I took this material and you know it's a uh, pretty thick I've been taking it and trimming it in different places and you know putting it around and um, like back here on this back wall there was, it was just metal and so I just uh, I took some of the spray uh, rubber and put on that back wall sprayed a little bit of it and then I took that high density foam material and laid in behind it and just you know stacked it on you know padded against it and it stuck and you see right here I've already got one of the Rockford Fosgate 4x6s is mounted back in the factory location. And right here, you can see that I've took the curtain out. And uh, these little dudes right here, if you take the curtain out, you gotta be careful not to lose them. These little white spools, they go on the screws that hold your curtain 
or the uh oh this is an 86 inch studio by the way and it has the door right here that opens up for your cabinet and if you don't put those back it will not line up correctly and the door will not latch so make sure you put those back a little bit of pain in the butt but they do have a slot in them so you can put them in here and turn them and uh, set over top of the screw and, and tighten it all back down but that's where i'm at right now with this project my next uh step is to take the seat belt off i'm gonna snap that cop uh, that little trim cap off and i think it's a 5 8 or 15 millimeter bolt take seat belt off and it just uh has some pop paint uh pop springs on it you just pop those off and i think there's one screw at the very bottom next to the seat belt retractor and that just comes right off and your trim will fall out of the way it's real flexible and that will give you access to the speaker and i can go ahead and do my stuff and work and take this other curtain the rest of the way down i started and i realized that you know it's going to be a lot easier a lot quicker if i go ahead and go like i was doing on the other side and take the panel off so we'll see what that looks like in here in a few minutes okay right here this panel that was a 16 millimeter bolt for the uh, seat belt bracket and you can see how it's got these uh little pin clips there's a speaker and then you get down here to the bottom and over the seat belt you have this uh that cover trim and you gotta be careful and i got a little bit carried away and pulled and end up cracking it right here okay and then like i said when you expose it off you'll see the seat belt bracket and good time to do some detailed cleaning for sure right here is that one screw that you gotta take off it seems like it you know without taking a, the seat belt shroud off you're thinking oh it's gonna come off but no you have one screw so we'll get it off all right get that one screw out and just lift it up hard to do one-handed here okay so there's that panel Oop. Well, there goes that panel <laughs> and this is what we got and you see in here in these holes uh it's just you know the aluminum chassis or metal chassis and so i'm gonna take advantage of this opportunity to you know just wipe it down get rid of some dust it's been here for years and get rid of this speaker i believe seen better days flex seal max it's a liquid rubber sealant coating and it puts a you know rubberized coating it's a watertight flexible barrier sealant coater ah, feel proves it so i'm going to spray some in here it's flexible you, it's not going to make a big mess and then i'll put my little rubber panels in there okay got the speaker out the pack car or kenworth factory speaker has this clip here on it so you'll have to come back here a little bit you know and just run right there back plug and just take your uh, wire cutters and cut them off and then add these uh female adapters that go on to the back of these rockford phosgate and then just uh, crimp them and then we'll be ready to start installing it back. So we got the new ends crimped on. So here's that material. You know, it's it's a uh, I don't know, probably three sixteenths. It's pretty thick. It's actually it's, I don't know what I could use it for. I bought it someplace out of Texas by a roll, and I'm actually uh, made it for sleeping pads. You know, for like camping first initially. You know, uh, it protects the insulates pretty well. So that's what I thought might be good for maybe sound and you know thermal insulation. I don't know. I had it. It's not costing me nothing right now to use it. So I'm just gonna use my little ruler here and measure off for about. I think I've done seven inches last time and just whack a doodle it and uh, roll it in there. And we'll see what it looks like. So I'm just taking that and I fold it and slip it down in the hole in those panels and where I sprayed the. That sealer on it, it's actually really sticky. And 
I'll hook that wire goes to. Oh, I just leave them alone. I just, uh, just push it in the corners and in the sides and see you know, that's it's sticking. It's actually making a pretty nice little seal in there. All right, with all that done, I think it looks pretty well. Got a big bag of polyfill right here. Uh, yeah, I don't know, I've never used it. I've heard it's really good for putting around like speakers and such. And that's my main intention was to just, you know, put around behind the speaker, make it think it's in a bigger area and maybe it'll sound better. I don't know, it may be going against everything I'm trying to accomplish. But we wanna stuff it full and see what helps. I mean, sure, I don't think it'll hurt anything, but you know, we'll see. Stuffing it here. Grab you a handful of old poly stuff and just stuff it. Fill in that hole, see what I mean. Alright, got this side. I think I stuffed almost every little nook and cranny I can find. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get the speaker screwed in so we can start getting this thing back together. All right, one more installed. So now I'll drop you to take that curtain down. All right, got that curtain out of the way. And this one is bad as the other side, the driver's side door. Uh, man, I took all the screws out of it. Inside here, I know you can't see it too well, but there are bunches and bunches of screws and even on the inside here. And that, that was a pain in the butt. So, I just took the top one out, took that little block out, and pulled the curtain out a little bit to the next block, and then I stick that back in there, and I don't know, just just trying to keep up with everything, and and uh, it went pretty easy. So there we are, getting coming back along. All right, got this panel back together, shine it up just a little bit, and we're gonna go ahead and cross the top, finish this baby up. This baby probably on another video. Thanks for watching.